Hey pipe community, Callan Doyle on the pipe patio on a beautiful Saturday afternoon in the fall. Sitting out here and it's about one o'clock having a pipe. Smoking my Norting bent and I really like this pipe and I, I find that I really like these pipes with thick walls. It's just something that I kind of have gravitated to as some of my favorite pipes. Um, and I'm smoking Samuel Gaw with Navy Flight. And I uh, kind of thought I would just go over my top three tobaccos and this uh, Samuel Gaw with Navy Flight comes in at number three for me. I, I really enjoy this tobacco. i uh been smoking it for a while and uh I just really find it uh, the, the most enjoyable of the Navy Flakes that I smoke. Uh, you know, Navy Flakes can vary a lot from different manufacturers. Uh, you can see them with Burley and Virginia. Uh, some of you can see them with Burley and Virginia and Perique. Some you see with Virginia and Perique. Uh, the thing that they all have in common is, uh, is of course, the Navy, I mean, not the Navy, the uh, rum flavoring, which is so closely associated with the Navy. Uh, but for me, this Samuel Galwith Navy Flake is different because it's a Virginia Latakia. And I, I really, really enjoy the way this tobacco smells and tastes. It's one of the few uh, tobaccos that uh, really, in my opinion, tastes just like it smells. Uh, when you when you open up, and I usually get this in a 250 gram box, um, but when you open it up, uh, it, it's a it's a dark flake and uh, it, it's real moist, just like most Samuel Gawa tobaccos are, and uh, it uh, it just has a unique, very very enjoyable aroma for me. Uh, and you, and you pick up the Latakia in it, but uh, you know you pick up something else, and I haven't quite put my finger on what that is you know the, the old legends and lore and I'm sure there's a lot of truth in it is in the days of old the, the sailors would take their tobacco on the ships with them and they would put rum and uh, molasses as a flavoring and as a uh, preservative um, I don't think this tobacco has molasses in it, but uh, when you open it up and look, it's so dark and so moist, it, it kind of gives you that, that feel of having uh, molasses in it. So, But uh, for me, it, it's it's just one of the best tobaccos that I've ever smoked with Latakia. Uh, you know, I like uh, English blends, but I really like the way this pairs this Virginia and the way they age it and the way they put the rum with it with the Latakia. Uh, for me, it's just uh, it's just excellent. Um, so, uh, I, I you know, I, I highly recommend this. But um, as with any Samuel Gawa tobacco or most of them that I've smoked, because they are wet, that's just a trademark of the Samuel Gawa tobaccos. Um, it, it requires some drying time. And uh, for me, when I'm going to smoke it, what I usually do is is uh, uh, the where I, the place that I dry my tobacco is underneath a ceiling fan. So I let it sit for 30 minutes and, uh, and <clears throat> on one side, and then I turn it over and let it sit for 30 minutes on the other. And for me, that kind of gives it the right uh, moisture in the, in the leaf. It dries it up a good bit, uh, and then I, I go ahead and pack it, and then I light it up. Uh, if you don't give this tobacco adequate drying time, uh, you're going to fight with it. It's going to be a battle to keep it lit. Uh, you know, and like I said, that's just their trademark. That's one of the things that you're going to find pretty much consistent with uh, Samuel Gaw with blends is they're going to be very, very moist. Uh, so, but I uh, wanted to kind of just go over my top three. I've never did a, a top three or a top five, but I'm going to do a top three. And I may come back and do some honorable mentions after that. But uh, for me, coming in at number three is uh, Samuel Gawis Navy Flake. Uh, if you haven't had this, uh, I would highly recommend it to you. Uh, if you like Latakia, uh, I think this 
presents Latakia in a different way than, than what you're probably used to, if you have, like I said, if you haven't had this. Uh, just gives it a real unique flavor. Uh, I, I truly, truly just love the, the, the taste of this tobacco. So, from uh, sitting here on the pipe patio on a Saturday, I'm getting ready to watch uh, LSU play here. Just a few, uh, about an hour and a half, I think, maybe two. Uh, they're going to play South Carolina, and uh, it's kind of reminiscent of us LSU back in uh, Katrina. When Katrina happened, LSU had a home game with Arizona, ended up going having to play their home game in Arizona because of the flooding and the destruction from Katrina. Uh, South Carolina was faced with the same thing with the storm they just went through and had a lot of flooding in their area. So, uh, uh, you know, we're glad they was able to move the game here. Uh, I think they're going to uh, all the proceeds from the tickets and concession will go to South Carolina, which will help them. Uh, you know, these these ball games are big business, and when you lose a home football game, it costs uh, a program a lot of money. So, uh, I hope that that all comes out well for them. So, anyway, from the pipe patio on a Saturday evening or afternoon, rather, uh, Cal Doyle coming in with uh, his number three tobacco you're going to notice a, a trend when i do number two and number one but uh if you never had sammy gone with navy flake i highly recommend it uh and i would recommend you you know find you some time and get you some and get you one of your favorite pipes and load her up and keep her lit keep her smoking